This week is Shabbat Hagadol, that is the Shabbat before Pesach. And the reason why it's called Shabbat Hagadol is because way back when, where the Jews were about to leave Egypt in the big exodus, the Shabbat before, on the 10th of Nisan, God commanded that each Jew should take the sheep and tie it to the bedpost. And this is what they were going to slaughter for the Korban Pesach. And the reason why it's called Gadol, big Gadol, Shabbat Gadol, is because there was this miracle that the Jewish people were going to slaughter what was seen as the God of the Egyptians. And the Egyptians were powerless. They couldn't and didn't do anything after everything that had just gone on from the all-powerful Jewish God with all the plagues and everything that God had shown with his outstretched mighty arm. And they knew that they, they were helpless to do anything. And it gave the Jewish people who were been slaves and who felt powerless for over 200 years in Egypt, it gave them this act that they were commanded to do would help them overcome their fear of being enslaved to the Egyptians. Once they see that they can do this act, they took the sheep and tied it to the bed post and that the Egyptians just stood by and watched, they understood now that they're not enslaved to these people or to their God um, and that they were going to be free and free to serve the one true, merciful, good God of Israel. And that was a very powerful act because it just took care of everything. It gave them the strength and the security once they did that to be able to take the next steps, to leave and to not feel threatened, to know that they would be successful. And it was also a sign to the Egyptians that their God is not a God. If their God can be slaughtered by every single Jewish home, this is not a real God. And I think I really like to connect it to, always like to connect everything to the Parsha Shavua. The Parsha Shavua is Mitzorah. It's a continuation from Tezria last week, which I spoke about a little bit, um, mainly concentrating on slander, on, on evil speech, because um, that's one of the main reasons why people would then get afflicted with Sarat. And I do think this connects to this whole idea because nowadays there is no Avodah there is no idol worship, strange foreign worship of different things. Uh, most people either believe in God or they don't believe in God. And I think that the idol worship was replaced, you know, no, there's no void that has gone from the world, but what take, has taken place and with such great force today that we battle, that it is the competition for God, is the ego. And the ego nowadays is what everybody worships. Most people in themselves, not even recognizing it, but that they can or can't accept things in the world or other people in the world because they believe that they are better, that they know. And the ego has gotten so huge that it's the cause of all conflict. It's the cause of the evil speech. It's the cause of wars that we're experiencing now. It's the cause of I, most ailments in the whole entire world is due to ego. And this is something that we have to take. And now is the time Judaism would believe as, you know, to certain times are more ripe for certain activity. We should always be battling the ego. We should always try and be more humble and accepting and understanding um, of different people and different ways that, of course, follow, follow moral and ethics. Um, and we have to fight that. And I, I think that this is what we are supposed to be doing now in this time of Pesach. Nisan is the month that is also actually the new year for the Jewish people. A lot of my friends who are more spiritually sensitive on Rosh Chodesh on the first of Nisan ha wrote uh, Happy New Year. And it is, it's a time for renewal. And it's a difficult time, a time where we're really, really challenged, um, especially Orthodox Jewish people that are preparing for Pesach. We're in crunch week, it's the week before the Pesach and the Seder night, which is so much work that has to be done with getting the chametz out of the house, cleaning, cooking, shopping, and it's very stressful. And it's a week where we're really challenged 
we're really challenged um, in terms of what we say and how we act towards other people because we're under extreme pressure and to, to get everything done. Um, and I really want to take this Shabbos to focus a little bit on meditating on that and trying to have a better week um, because me getting stressed out and being uh, not nice to other people or not doing what I'm supposed to be doing is not going to make for a better Pesach. That's not what is supposed to be the intention. So I think I'm going to connect that really with watching my speech as the Parsha of Mitzora really is there to teach us. And, you know, if I feel myself getting tense, take a breath and instead of saying something not nice, say something nice, focus on what I appreciate, focus on something good and try and turn it around. Um, and to have a, a really, when we say Chag um, Kasher for Pesach, it should be, it should be good and kosher in every single, not just that we don't have the chame to the bread around, but that we really did that work on ourselves and we feel better and we feel, we feel cleansed a little bit from all the negativity in our life, um, which only we have control over. We only, it's only us that has control over how we act and to, to take this time because we, we still have a few days to really make sure of that. And I hope you'll join me. And I wish you all a very sh good Shabbat Shalom, uh, warm, healthy, safe Shabbat.